Hey guys, the last time I did tier list for legendary DPS units. This time I would like to make tier list for all the heroes that are in game, used or not used at all. Heroes usually don't change that much from patch to patch, but I will try to update you guys with another tier list as soon as anything happens in the future. Before we jump into making tier list, I would like to give huge shout out to all the people who keep on supporting me by using my promo code MANTI in Rushrail Market. Peps, Aini, Chicano, Julie, Wolverine, Smile, Lofficials, Lawrence Patterson, Gabor Chinky, and John Schaffer. Love you guys and keep on being awesome. Did you guys know that whenever you buy something in Rush Real Market you have tons of benefits? You get much better prices than you have in the game client, you can support your favorite content creator with a promo code, and you can also limit the number of your purchases. Instead of several mini transactions you can just buy yourself platinum and then buy in-game stuff such as gems, passes or deal offers with it. If you want to support me, please use code MANTI whenever you purchase in the market. You can leave me a message that will show on my stream as well. For all the people who uses my code, big thanks. Alright, so let's try to make a tier list for all the heroes that are in the game. Uh, some of them are used pretty much in every deck, some of them are not used at all. Uh, so I would like to try and make this tier list. Uh, we have a S god tier, we have A very good, flexible with uh, multiple decks, uh, B which is played in very few decks and C almost not played at all and of course D not played whatsoever. Um, we will start with a trainer, we'll end with the flicker and I would just uh, note, would like to note that it's my personal experience but also uh, what people are playing in PvP, also what people think about the heroes and basically what's in the game currently. So uh, trainer, especially trainer with his item is pretty very very strong for a common hero I would say it's uh, really really good if you don't have any epic or any uh, legendary heroes on decent level um, so if you don't have for example gadget or mermaid for in, in level 5 then I would suggest going for trainer because it's easily uh, you can easily get it to level 20 and if you roll his item from the hero tavern, it's a really good opportunity to um, win your games with trainer. I would put it in uh, in all, I think in B tier. I might change it to C tier if we go further. Uh, for right now, I would like to put it on B. I think it can be played with cultist, it can be played with even demon hunter, with monk on lower tiers like around 5 to 5.5k uh, five trophies or even lower. Trainer is a very solid hero, it's buffing your uh, units with attack speed and other stats, it can stop your, uh, it can stop your monsters going further, so I, I would say overall very solid, solid hero. Uh, another hero is Bestie, I mean honestly I don't even see it being in C tier, I don't think it's played whatsoever, maybe people don't uh, didn't discover yet uh, that this hero might be good as trainer, but I don't see it played whatsoever and I would honestly, I honestly don't even have any experience with this, uh, with this hero or against this hero. I just don't see any possibility to be to be played really so I would honestly put it in D tier uh, I don't think it's a good hero even after the changes I don't know I just don't see it maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong maybe it is played it can be played in some of the decks but I just don't see it I'm sorry uh, elementalist uh, yeah same story like elementalist Honestly, I think it's the worst hero right now. I don't see it played whatsoever. As of for 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 uh, bestie, I think it could be played in some decks if you have it level 20 and you don't have your trainer level 20 and you don't have epics level 5. Then sure, I might have 
my like I, I would play bestie if it was level 20 and I would have her item for example maybe maybe but with elementalist I don't know man I, I, this this hero uh, is just sad after the all the changes that there was a big patch where they changed all the heroes I just don't see elementalist being reliable whatsoever uh, for me it's a dead hero it needs a rework it, it needs uh, it, it doesn't even need buff or, or or some change it needs a rework this this hero is just sad <laughs> honestly I'm sorry but this hero is just sad uh, so yeah many many of you will agree with me I don't think anyone will disagree with me elementalist is just a bad hero currently it's a very in a really bad state. Uh, going uh, next is Jake Paul. Honestly, I don't see any anyone playing Jake Paul. I know that um, some people have it level 20 with even hero hero heroic item, but I don't see it played. Uh, I was put it in C. It can be played, uh, especially with the the stacking percentage damage. It can be played in some of the decks. It gives that. Uh, the percentage damage it gives that uh, damage on the activation it stops the monsters just like trainer do but it's I just didn't see it in a very 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 long time and it's not played uh, but I can see it being played and it's I think it's better than uh, than, than bestie than elementalist for sure uh, I would put it equally to trainer and that's why i said that i might change trainer uh but we'll see for now i'll put jake paul in c tier uh and at the end we'll, i will see if i move trainer to c tier as well or not uh all right next is snowflake snowflake has been nerfed uh two times in a row actually with the uh, chance recently it has been changed to uh, the chance of uh, units being frozen on spawn uh, has been decreased I think from 15 to 10 percent if I remember correctly and the the time duration uh, of units being frozen on both abilities uh, also has been decreased twice so uh, it's not as good as as it was in a toxic meta uh, that was uh, quite uh, some time ago but I think overall Snowflake is a very solid uh, hero, uh, I want to say unit, a hero. Uh, it's not as strong as it was, but it's still very solid with the percentage damage, with the, uh, with the uh, armor penetration, with the freezes, with the slows. I think it's a really solid hero right now and it can be played in... Uh, pretty much if you want it if you had the heroic item it could be played in pretty much every every deck possible it can be played toxic it can uh, play in dps units it can be played uh, for strictly armor pen if your uh, if your deck lacks the armor penetration from trapper or chemist or other sources it's a very solid hero very flexible um, but i wouldn't place it in A. I think there are uh, better heroes right now, that's for sure. Uh, so I would put it for now in B tier and we'll see uh, how how we go further. Gadget. Um, yeah, Gadget is a very interesting hero because it gives you more percentage damage with, uh, with gold tiles and if you have the if you have the heroic item you get the mo more gold tiles or purple tiles uh, and it gives more percentage damage than actually Zeus which is surprising many people don't know that uh, it gives you attack speed it gives you a percentage damage it gives you damage on the activation and slow uh, but many people just don't play it uh, currently I see the reason why because there is a lot of negative effects and gadget doesn't give you that protection and that's why many people just don't want to play gadget and yeah i think a gadget could be a very solid hero 
maybe on lower uh, lower elo however it sounds on lower trophies like 4k 5k uh, 5k trophies uh, it could be played uh, on higher levels I, I just i just don't see it like um i would also put it on b tier and with with snowflake right now even though snowflake is played in uh, more often more often than rather than gadget uh, so yeah and the more I look at the B tier, I would like to move uh, Trainer to C tier, uh, just because uh, these two heroes, uh, Epic Heroes, just gives much more than Trainer if it's leveled up, of course. Uh, Jay. Uh, Jay is a very interesting hero because it has been changed recently and it's supposed to change her ability especially uh, about the event games where it was only one or two decks being played in in an event i don't uh, i i forgot uh, the name of this event uh so yeah uh honestly i think j even after the changes is a a tier unit especially with monk with inquisitor uh, it can be even played in some va variation of cultist or maybe even demon hunter if you want it's a very very strong and flexible unit um, yeah just straight to a uh, i would say uh, very good very good hero right now monk especially monk with j is very strong if you have j if you have her heroic item if you have monk maxed go for it it's a basically free trophies for you my friend uh going further uh, we have mari mari has been nerfed i think twice in a row right now and uh, but it is still still very solid very good very strong hero it gives you so much it gives you the wave control wave man management it gives you uh, mana it can block your enemy from dealing with the bosses and it shreds the armor overall it's not like it used to be but it's still um uh, so yeah i would put it on a tier maybe s tier but I, i'm not sure there is <laughs> there is certain hero that is definitely going to s tier and i don't think it's it's equal to mari uh mermaid 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 uh Many people play Mermaid, and I agree on that. Many people play Mermaid, the decks require to play Mermaid because it lacks the, uh, the cleanses. Uh, so many people play it in, in Tesla decks, in Bruiser decks, in Demon Hunter decks, in, in some people play it in Cultist decks. It, it is played overall, but with so many negative effects because the waves are much faster. So uh there there are toxic decks negative effects fly right and left i just don't see mermaid being being enough honestly i don't see mermaid being enough on its own to stop all these negative effects in my opinion if i would change anything about mermaid i would say uh just delete all the dam damage attack speed all the buffs uh all the the damage uh things just remove it and put this hero as a protection hero everyone would agree with me i think that mermaid is supposed to be uh a protective hero with her bubbles with her abilities it should be a protective hero it sh it doesn't have to give you a damage a attack speed or critical damage or anything else just a protection right now it is not as good because the bubbles ha have been nerfed uh all the abilities about the, the the bubbles so i just don't see mermaid being uh, s tier honestly i would put it on a tier but there is one thing about mermaid that i hate that red swords penetrate mermaid's bubbles and it sucks why because you cannot uh, get rid of those red swords because if it penetrates the bubbles the bubbles stay so you cannot apply another bubble which is i don't know uh, it's it makes no sense whatsoever why it interacts like that because in a definition in mermaid it says that 
uh, mermaid's bubble is supposed to protect a unit from one single negative effect but about the red sword it does not and it uh, clear it, it's clearly a negative effect nonetheless i would put it on a tier i would not put it on b tier people would kill me uh people would complain too much i think a tier is a solid pick for mermaid right now uh trickster 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 uh it is played in lower tropics i know that for sure uh but overall i don't see it played whatsoever it's kind of like like trainer or jake paul well jake paul is almost not played but you you get my point uh it's the same as trainer because it can be played but why would you play it if you have on any other heroes right yeah, uh, like why why would I play Trickster if I have Mari? Like both both uh, heroes gives you mana, but Mari gives you just much more if it's leveled up, right? And or why would I play Trainer if my gadget is level 15 or level 10? Like why would I play it, right? So you get my point. Um, Trickster is just a rare hero. Uh, you can play it, but if you have better heroes, don't just don't play it. Uh, Necro. And no surprise, Necro right now after the buffs and people discovering that uh, it can be played very flexible. You can play very every deck pretty much with Necromancer. Uh, if you have it level 20 with the second wind, uh, second wind, you can put two Necros on your enemy's path. Uh, it's really obnoxious. It's really hard to play against, and many people complain all the time that Necro is supposed to be nerfed. Uh, because it's just way too strong. I agree with that. Uh, I wouldn't say we, I had a con conversation with Jackal and others from a Blood Zephyr and from Seven's community that Necromancer is not OP. Necromancer, rather, is just way too toxic. It has way too many toxic traits that block your enemy from dealing damage, from merging, from uh, getting uh, merge ranks. Uh, to higher tiers it's just way too obnoxious and additionally it gives you mana it gives you uh, armor penetration it gives you healing on enemy's path it just gives you too much overall and i think uh, it is not overpowered it is not op but it, it has way too many toxic traits and that's why people complain and that's why people grind with it because people just hate playing against it uh, so that's that Zeus, Zeus, another second legendary hero. Uh, right now, not in the best shape. It can be played, but it's not because other heroes just gives uh, more what's needed in current meta. So I don't know. Like genie players can play uh, Zeus. Um, it can be played with Demon Hunter. It can be played with Riding Hood. It can be played with Spirit Master. And there are decks that Zeus, uh, like that benefits from Zeus. But overall, other heroes are just better. Like, I don't want to put Zeus on B tier, but it is somewhere in between A or B. Like, I think, honestly, Monk is better, for example, with J rather than with Zeus. Spirit Master is better with Mari rather than with Zeus. And Demon Hunter require you to play Mermaid because you need those Demon Hunter merge ranks rather than with Zeus. You get my point, right? So I would put it uh, on A tier, but I, like I said, it, it is somewhere in between A or B. And then last is Flicker. Flicker was at some point very good. We had a six, a six dose in a Blood Zephyr, which was very, very good and very efficient with uh, flicks, fl uh, Flicker. Uh, but it has been changed. I don't remember what, what has been changed, but I know that it has been nerfed. And from that point, I don't see any Flicker players, really. Which is sad because it's the newest hero uh, that has been introduced to us but it is not played whatsoever like uh, I don't see anyone playing flicker anyone going for flicker except for the crit and uh, so I would just put it on D tier honestly I, I just don't see it played whatsoever 
uh, even on lower trophies, on higher trophies, in tournaments, in events, no one plays it. I'm sorry, uh, maybe it's just my experience, but I don't see it play right now. Um, so yeah, that's my tier list. So we have Necron in S tier, uh, J, Mari, uh, Mermaid and Zeus on A tier, uh, Snowflake and Gadget on B tier, C tier is Jake Paul, Trainer and Trickster, and on D tier I would put a uh, Bestie, Elementalist and Flicker. Thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully I will continue making this tier list whenever uh, something changes, something big changes and the tier list will shift. That's when I will try to update my tier list and we'll see how it goes and how we can compare uh, those tier lists. But yeah, thank you so much and see you in the next video. Hey there, thanks for watching and if you like the video, please subscribe and like as it helps me a ton. You can also leave a comment if you like as I read and respond to every comment. Thanks for watching.